All right, welcome to our December 12th Arctic Front weather briefing. My name is Leanne Allegretto, and I'll be covering all of the details for the Arctic Front that's expected tonight through Monday across most of Montana, or western Montana, excuse me, and perhaps some of north central Idaho as well. I will dive into a lot of detail throughout the presentation, but please feel free to pause the slides at any time if you need to, uh, to really digest the information that I'm going to go over. So with that, let's get started. So tonight through Monday, here's what we're dealing with. We've been watching for several days now the potential for a strong Arctic front to seep through the Continental Divide tonight and bring very strong bitterly cold winds as well as additional snowfall to the region. Now most of the impacts will occur Monday, but today the forecast models have actually come in and shown a quicker progression of this front into some of the areas like Essex, West Glacier, and the general Flathead Valley by tonight. So um, that area is creeping in a little bit quicker. Now for central Idaho, it does appear that a dramatic drop in temperatures will definitely be felt, as well as some additional snowfall accumulations, but overall the impacts from winds and blowing snow will be much less than that in western Montana. So our major concerns. Number one, the dramatic temperature drop with dangerously cold wind chills. I'll get into the details of this in future slides, but for now that's our number one main concern. And of course, number two, um, equally concerning is the blowing snow and snow drifts over highways potential. Now here's a look at the timing of the Arctic front and associated impacts. Again, this is our best assessment of what will happen, but you know how it goes. These mountains have a way with messing with the weather, so use this only as a guide in your decision making. The timing may or may not be slightly faster, slightly slower than what we're predicting here, but this is what we are expecting as of the latest forecast that we're putting out. So uh, take a look at this prediction and kind of gauge your commute times if you need to and make note of any adjustments you may need to make in travel if need be. Now here's some further detail into when conditions should be especially hazardous across the region. The pink color denotes extreme impacts expected the red denotes high impacts, yellow denotes moderate impacts, and green denotes low impacts. And a quick glance at this graph shows obviously that northwest Montana, including the Flathead Valley, will be hardest hit by this Arctic. In addition, the Mission Valley down to, into Arlee and Everill Hill area, Frenchtown, Missoula Valleys, all of those look to see high impacts as well. Uh, Monday morning through Monday afternoon, lasting through the evening time. Now note, these are just general areas and their vicinity locations that are represented here. So if you need specific details for your exact lo location, please visit our website, follow us on any of our social media accounts. You know, we issue updates frequently and communicate them through those means, or you can always give us a call. Now on to the specifics. Here is a graphical depiction of the estimated snowfall that we're predicting during this entire event, but it's split into two separate time frames. So the first one on the left is the snow accumulation from tonight through Monday morning, and the graphic on the right is the snow accumulation Monday afternoon through Tuesday morning. Now recall, along with the snowfall, strong winds are, be are going to be present, which will cause snow amounts, A, to be hard to measure because they'll be blowing around, and two, it's going to be hard for them to stay off the roads. So blowing and drifting is likely to occur, and snow drifts could be a serious travel impact for those traveling, you know, just about on any road impacted by the winds and the snow. And uh, visibilities, too, may lower quickly with changeable road conditions. You know, all of this is obviously a, a, a major concern. So just kind of digest these numbers if you need to. Pause, or let's keep going. These are wind gusts. This is a general representation of who should experience what. Uh, these are, again, wind gusts, not just general sustained wind speed. So these are some of the top values we're expecting. You see a lot of red and orange up in the Kalispell area, West Glacier, Polson, all the way down to Missoula. It's going to be pretty strong. Of course, in the backcountry, in the higher terrain, winds will obviously be ripping through there you know, exceeding these values and then some given their elevation. So backcountry travel will be downright dangerous, and avalanche danger may increase this week as a result of the weather conditions expected, so keep an eye on that. But for most of us down here in the valleys, wind chills will be frigid for anyone outdoors, and frostbite will be a real concern if you're not properly protected. So that should about cover it, but of course, 
Should you have any additional questions or need further specifics, please call us at any time. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching and be safe out there.